Harbor History Source, City of Hamilton Website Hamilton Harbor was part of First Nations life for centuries before the arrival of French explorer Etienne Brule in 1616. Rich in flora and fauna of all kinds, the harbor and Coutts Paradise, the marsh to the west of the harbor, were stunningly beautiful in the 17th century. In fact, by the time Geneva Lake or Mikasa Bay, as the harbor had been known, was officially proclaimed to be Burlington Bay in 1792, it was already gaining a reputation for its natural beauty. In 1813, the topographical description of Upper Canada characterized the harbor as perhaps as beautiful and romantic a situation as any in the interior of America, particularly if we include with it a marshy lake which falls into it, and a noble promontory that divides them. In 1785, Richard Beasley settled on the shores of Burlington Heights and by 1815, the area had inspired a permanent European settlement. George Hamilton led the move to establish a village in what was known then as Barton Township. He was successful in 1833, seven years after the Burlington Canal opened to connect Hamilton Harbor to Lake Ontario. With its large, deep water harbor, along with the 1854 arrival of the Great Western Railway, Hamilton was well positioned to become an industrial center. Railway expansion nationwide was driving demand for steel and Hamilton's economy began to boom. The ambitious city was living up to its nickname economically, but the rapid urbanization and competitive commercial environment meant that environmental protection was a low priority. Hamilton's new waterworks opened in 1859, vastly improving public health issues related to drinking water and sewage, but the natural environment continued to suffer. By the 1860s, Hamilton Harbor's fish stocks were in noticeable decline and on the way to collapse. Industrial and household pollution, along with dramatic infilling, had started to make the harbor's south shore unrecognizable. As Hamilton's industrial sector thrived through the World Wars and the city's port became one of the busiest on the Great Lakes, local citizens, organizations, media, and governments began to recognize the dangers of ignoring the region's natural heritage. In the 1960s, the Hamilton Spectator claimed that the bay has been turned into a huge potential cesspool, unfit for or unacceptable to human, animal, or most forms of plant life. Shortly after the Woodward Wastewater Treatment Plant opened in 1964, community support for a stronger approach to protecting the natural environment of Hamilton Harbor began building. By the time the International Joint Commission identified the harbor as one of the 43 areas of concern AOC, on the Great Lakes in 1987, the Hamilton community was ready to put environmental stewardship on equal footing with recreational and industrial uses when it came to Hamilton Harbor. The community completed the Hamilton Harbor Remedial Action Plan in 1992 as a roadmap to restoring Hamilton Harbor's ecological health and having the harbor removed from the list of AOCs. Since the launch of the RAP, a coalition of governments, corporations, and local organizations has worked diligently to restore and protect Hamilton Harbor's natural heritage. Projects have included new and enhanced infrastructure to manage wastewater and stormwater, the reconstruction of natural habitats, changes in policies and practices that affect water quality and widespread public education on the importance of a healthy harbor. The result is noticeably and measurably better water quality, increased health in local wildlife populations, enhanced access to recreation opportunities including public swimming and the return of long-vanished fish and bird species including the bald eagle. A great deal of progress has been made, but much more work lies ahead to restore and sustain a healthy Hamilton Harbor for generations to come.